Hey YouTube, I'm on the floor and I'm Aiden or Burger Bob, whatever you want to call me. Um, today, I want to give a short little review of my new Marcus Bonna lightweight case for tenor. Sadly, not for bass. So, first of all, um, I have no case for my 42B. I think, what did I get it in? I got it in like a really crappy old... Protec Max case, I think, and I sold that with another horn, so I don't have a case for it. And instead of a case, I've been using my Giardinelli leather gig bag, which is a really nice gig bag. I like this gig bag a lot. Um, you know, it protects the slide pretty well, um, as well as any case, probably. But the bell section is just kind of up for grabs. I mean, you can just kind of do this, so I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable using that. Also, this is for like as light as it is, it's not very fun to carry since the handle is not in the middle and the strap is just like not in the best attachment point. So not the perfect case. This might be the perfect case. It's, it's really close to the perfect case. So on the outside you see a uh, corridor cover, um, it's got feet, it's got feet, it's got attachment points for backpack straps. Um, currently I have the backpack straps, but they're on my base case because I need that much more than I need backpack straps on this. Um, I have some crappy strap from something else. At the moment, it's got a nice handle right here, which, uh, which is actual leather. It's got another handle here, which is absolutely necessary. I hate cases that don't have a handle here. I'm looking at you, Eastman. Why would you not put a handle there? Um, and this one is also leather, and it's very supple and nice. I love that. Um, I got this used, so it's it's not in perfect shape, but, uh, and probably the biggest thing is that the pull on the other zipper is gone, which is just annoying. There's no way to use it, really. So I keep this one all the way over here. Let's check out the inside. So, yeah, last thing on the outside, Marcus Bono. Yep, we know. Open this up. Zip. And, ta-da! So, first thing you notice when you open this is that it just feels super solid. You can feel the fiberglass shell is really hard. It's like a serious case for how light it is, especially. You're like, wow. Okay, I can put my horn in this. Um, so, right here we have accessory pocket. I keep my two tenor mouthpieces um, and an extra strap in case I forget my get a grip. Um, I need something to play this with. And the first thing you notice is the slide's not in the lid like it is on most cases, like my BAM. Uh, you can't see on my BAM on my other base case, or the Marcus Bonna regular tenor case, or the base case. The slides all are, are all in the lid, but in this, the slide is back here, which is super cool. So I have my crappy 42B slide. Oh, it feels pretty good right now. This case actually makes my slide better. So the slide goes behind the bell section, and right now you're like, wait, how does it go behind if it's not going to hit the bell? There's a little doodad right here, I don't even know what to call it, that is very hard and keeps the slide tenon from hitting the bell, and you kind of like thread it in there, put the slide right here, and it just snaps into place. It's really cool. And it's very secure, and it's, it's at the bottom of the case where like the protection is probably the heaviest, so... There's like no chance of this getting completely screwed up unless the whole case is getting screwed up. And it's like, as weird as this looks to have these so close, there's no way it's going to hit the bell section either. Um, which is just great, because when it's in this lid, there's actually a chance that it can either fall out or there's not enough clearance and they just hit each other. And then, of course, the bell section it has this nice, comfortable little slot that I put together for it. So the cool thing about this is, all these little guys, there's five pillows and this little uh, curvy thing, are all just Velcroed in. I'm not going to take that one out because I don't want to lose track of where it is. But these all just move. So I can put them wherever I want. And that one goes there, I think. Yeah, cool. We'll just keep it there. And then there's two on the bottom, so you can put those under the bell section to give it a little more support. Um, and of course, the point of these is to keep your bell section from moving around when the case is closed and damaging itself that way, right? Um, so yeah, cool. It's got a bunch of points to keep it in place. Um, this thing just comes out. There's no attachment for it, which I think is kind of weird, but 
it's not a big deal. Um, and then I keep all my oils in this little compartment here, which also Velcros, so I can put that anywhere I want, maybe change the balance of the case by putting it in the end or up here. Um, right in the middle has worked fine for now. And I can put more stuff there. I'm not sure what I would put there. Drugs, I guess. Um, so I put that there, and then I put this here. I just love how it like slots into place and then barely moves at all. It's just such a cool little case. And then the best part, of course, is that after everything is closed up, your handles snap together. I'm good at this, I swear. There we go. This weighs almost nothing. I mean, yes, it's heavier than my gig bag, but it's probably a good five, six pounds lighter than the stock Bach coffin that comes with all these horns. Um, this is an amazing little case. It's even comfortable on your back um, because the bell section isn't too big. It doesn't hit you in the head when you have it on a backpack mode. Um, really, the biggest gripe I have with this, um, other than it not being like turquoise or some cool color, is that there's no music pocket. That's the coolest thing about my BAM case, which is going bye-bye, bye-bye BAM, um, is the giant music pocket right here. And it's silly because there's absolutely room for a music pocket that would fit any kind of music. Look, that's music size. Why is there no music pocket? So that's just like an oversight. Um, the normal Bonnet case comes with a music pocket, I think. I just don't know why you would leave that off this. I guess it does make it lighter, but at the expense of functionality, whatever. The cool thing is, though, like, this would fit in any plane overhead easily with all your accessories. You know, like, I can put this in with uh, practice mute in the bell, all that kind of stuff. So there you go. If you want to get a new tenor case and you're looking at Marcus Bonnet, I would definitely check out the lightweight, because I don't think this gives up anything to the normal heavyweight, whatever you want to call it, um, Bonnet tenor case. If anything, I think it's better. Cool. Catch you guys next time.